figure A was two times one All right. times two. Hi, I'm Miss Willow right. here, um, and my mentor and teacher is Miss Jarwell. And today we're going to be going four. over a times worksheet one about how to find the volume two. of rectangular prisms. Right. And these are my three kiddos I'm working with in my small group. So we're going to do great today, right? Times all right, four so y'all start with writing your name three. on your paper, okay? Three times that way, three when I go to look at them, I don't know who's who. Times four is 36. Okay, so I've got the same worksheet up here as y'all. We're going to do this first one together, and then we'll do oh, the last no, three individually, and I'll help y'all, okay? Two times one times so four. if you notice, you have two Five. colored pencils, a purple and a yellow. Yeah. So we're going to color so code each four. prism. Eight. So that way it's easier for us to find the dimensions, okay? Eight. So let's do purple first. So if I pick up the purple, we're going to do yellow second. Let's do the purple first, okay? And we're going to color the prism that's on the top, just the top one, okay? So color in that. So let me do it with you. you see what you did wrong. Can you find what you, what you bring them to this day? Let's not be popping, especially once she starts filming, don't be popping your the bands at all. Please. Have I got it colored? Mm -hmm. Almost. Okay. So, do y'all see where you made the mistake? Oh, oh, the oh, whole, yeah. the whole top see one. So color all that. Yes. Yeah. Oh, and the gray part. Okay. <laughs> yeah. There you go. There you go. In the gray part. Okay. You should have had 16 units. Cute. You see how this is one rectangular prism? Yeah, color the whole thing. Okay, good job. Yeah. All right, now, what do we know about volume? That it's um, four. That, mm -hmm. yeah, 18 units. That is uh, what, what, uh, and what five, it's one. Five, 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 five. 69 That's units. what, mm -hmm. it's, uh, okay. what, uh, so, is on how much space it takes. Okay, two, yep. Okay, six, and is it 3D six, or 2D? Two when we're talking about volume. Four. Four times 3D. Three. So we need six, how many dimensions? Three. three. Okay. Can you tell me what this dimensions one? we're going to be looking for? Length, three. Height. So length five, times width times, width times height. Right? Okay. So let's look three, at our nine, purple nine, prism we colored. And let's nine, find five, the width, the width, the length, five, and the height. Okay. Two, and when we find those, we're going to write them in our blanks. Together. On your paper, looks just like this. Okay. So who can find... One of those three on the purple prism. Look at your purple prism and let's find length, width, and height of it. Can you, can you find what you, where you went wrong? Hmm. Jet? Three, six, here, and ten. Here are my three, six, and ten. Good job. Okay, so let's write three, three six, 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 and ten, ten in our blanks. Three times five times three. Oh, wait. Gary and RJ, did y'all see where he got that? Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. So which one, if we're looking yeah, at that, the, the three, the is that the out. length with that's the height? Yeah, the, the answer on this one was my age. If we're looking at the uh, three, uh, high. High. good job. Do you have a question? No. Okay. All right, do y'all have those written? <laughs> three, six, and ten? So now, what are we going to do to these yet. to find the volume yeah. of that right there? Add them. Are you sure? The, we're going to time them. Multiply them. Okay, so let's multiply. Which one do you want to multiply first? Oh. Which one would be easier for y'all? Uh, three. Okay. Three times what? Three. No, we're doing three, six, and ten. Oh. Are we good? Three times ten. Yeah. Three times. Okay, let's do three times ten is what? Thirty. Thirty. Times six. I'm going to skip. I'm going to skip that. Check. One hundred. Right One hundred eighty. If we do 30 times 6, we have 6 times 0 is 0. 6 times 3, so 180. So 180. So y'all write 180 in the next blank. The first one I'm going to do. So that's going to be the volume of just the purple. This front part. So I have. Let's grab our yellow colored pencil and let's color the second box. Okay. So if I do two times five, I got ten times two would be twenty units cubed. Yes. Right, are you working with me? Okay. Now I'm going to do the one. All right, time. same thing. 
and we're going to find length, width, and height with just the yellow prism. Times five. Uh, nine is the length. Times okay. one. Nine. So write that in one of the blanks. Do I, do I actually have to multiply with that one? Because if I do. Jet, can you tell me another one? No. So really, all is I the do what? is solve this part. It's the five. It's five times five. The width of the hydrogen. Are we sure? So nine, are you looking at this nine right here? Yeah. That nine is the whole thing, the yellow and the purple. So now oh, we're, we're just trying to find the yellow. Oh, then. So we might look over here at these eight. numbers. So six. try to get six. Yeah, six is a high. Okay. That would be five, four, seven. So we've got our width and our height. What about our length okay. down here? No, RJ, right, turn y'all loose. Uh, this okay. long piece right here. Six. Where are you getting six from? Uh, because there's six and oh, six straight. <coughs> That's our height. I'm going to show y'all oh. how so I we've would got the nine, expression nine, that I would six. need to solve that. Jet, can you help us so out? So think about what ten. to do first. Ten. So do you see the ten so up here on the purple? I did. Oh. They're the same. I'm fine. Okay. So that third I'm dimension two. is going to be ten. So you should have and then, here. I Write these down. Nine five, times six times ten. Times five times one. Nine, six, and ten. And then I added those okay. two. And did we understand how we got I those? Let's see. I usually reach this point. Right. Not far. The yellow. No, then our width. Use. So six and nine. And then our ten goes right here. That's this. Okay. Okay. So this is my expression. All right. So what we're going to do? The volume equals. equals on Multiply. Okay, so which one do you want to do first? Plus. Ten times nine. Ten times nine is? Ninety. Ninety. Okay. And then ninety times six is? If we do zero times six is? Zero. And then nine times six is? So. Before I turn y'all let's, let's look at this one. Let's just write our, our two, our, our expressions. So You're on it. One, <laughs> 52. Volume is Close. 53. What? Close. <laughs> Go one more up. 54. 54. Yeah. I'm going to Okay. So 540 is going to go in our blank over here. And that's yeah. the volume of the yellow. So now on the bottom one, it wants the volume of the whole this shape. This section right here. Okay. So, so what are we going to do? We have the volume of two, purple and the volume of yellow. Two. So what are we going to do and with those two numbers? This yeah. section. Okay. Add them. Yes. So let's put in this blank 180 okay. um, plus 540. Two times two times one. And then what would I do to those? Once I solve them, what I do is those two parts. Here. Nine plus zero is zero. Okay, yeah. Jet. Eight plus four. Yeah. Twelve. Well, just use here. One here. After you finish here. this page. Five plus one plus one. Six. Put it back in the binder. Seven. And then either. Five, six, five, seven. Here, okay, so seven hundred and twenty is our final answer for the whole prism. Understand that? Yep. Okay. All right. And when we're finding our answers, we always have to use our units. Q. Okay. We can't leave that off. Okay. All right. The rest of it, I want y'all to do the same way, and I will come around and help her. Okay. Good job. Great job.